of time is fine. Positions take all of them on. Hello, spiderlings. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world today. Thank you very much again for joining us on our next episode of our Grounded Let's Play. So, today's plan of action is we are going to head over to the anthill. We're going to go down the anthill. We're going to collect the milk molars. We're going to collect the quartzite. Uh, we're going to collect the marble as well. We're hopefully going to get the Rotten Bee Armour as well. Going to get Burgle's Grave Robber quest completed down there. And we're also going to head over and do the trail markers on the old oak log and the old plank. And finally, if we have time, we'll head back over to that corner of the hedge and hopefully get those two milk molars that I know of there down there. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So we've got our silk rope completed. So we'll get some more on the go whilst we are out and about. And there we go. I don't know if we've got room for these. We do. We'll have something to eat. Do with a bit of a drink. We might build ourselves actually. Where are you? The water container. There we go. So we get that one built. And what we can do is we can actually tap E to deposit water into the container. So that way that frees up the dew collector to make some more water for us. So we shall have another drink no we want to collect you so we have water we've got our first aid on us we've got our hammer we've got our axe we've got our speedy gear and we've got our gas mask in case we bump into any stinky bugs so because we've got our red ant armor on the full set this gives us the hum ant ability which means that it sees us as one of the red ants so you will see when we get there, that when we go down into the ant hill, that the ants just think that we're one of them. And that also reminds me, because we're going down there, we do need a torch. So let's get one of the longer burning torches. We'll craft one of you. And what we're going to do is hopefully get some ant eggs so that we can make some brat burst because we've got we need the red ant eggs. Oh, we need fungal growth as well. Okay. So we might leave the ant eggs then, really. Because the ant eggs actually hatch. So I don't particularly want them if uh, if they're just going to be hatching and go go uh, go bad. So I shall meet you over at the anthill. Okay, then. So here we are at the anthill. As you can see, there are loads of soldier ants out here. And as you, as you know from past episodes, they would be attacking me at this close proximity. As you can see, because of the ant armor, it sees us as a red ant. So let's get on down and get a raiding. Now we need to be careful whilst down here not to accidentally hit one of the ants, because then they will still attack Dad, us. So we just need to be have our wits about us. Make sure that when we're swinging to destroy things, that we don't accidentally boop an ant. So it's quite easy to get turned around in here. So we're just going to take it nice and slowly. Go through it methodically. So there's our first one. ourselves another mutation so that's basically going to allow us to get through 
the rock's a little bit quicker and easier so what have we got on at the moment we don't need you so we'll put rock cracker on that should allow us to break through a little quicker oh got some more horror science see now if we pick these up when there's actually ants coming past that's another sign for them to attack us as well so you really have to have your wits about you don't want to drop down there let's get this raw science I think we've got a we've got the first milk molar of the episode here yep there it is That's one objective ticked off. See, so that's just taking us two hits to get through this time rather than the three that it was taking. Which is what that mutation allows us to do, to get through them quicker. And we'll keep on keeping on. Look some more roll signs. So they usually tend to drop three pieces, so some more eggs, what do we have up here, anything? Oh, so there is the rotten bee face mask, so that's one part of the rotten bee armour. Let's keep on going, ah, scabby! Hopefully we come to where the hole that's where the hole is. So let's carry on this way and go down deeper. There we go. This should take us down to where the ants collect all of their belongings, I believe. Or again, I could be wrong again there. Yeah I am. So let's head to that hole, I think. That's gonna be the easiest way to get down there. We'll just drop straight down the hole. There we go. So this should take us now to the next piece of the rotten armor. Got a nice cat mint, nice. And we've got the B shoulder pads, so we're just missing the the shoes. There is the burgle red ant tail chip. So this is the grave Robert just completed. So we'll continue on. Since we can only come out this way. We can go either in the water or we can go up the ramp. So I think we'll go up the ramp. There's the sleeping ants. Slowly but surely making that way through. Right, so if we go right here, I believe this is going to bring us up another level. That ant's looking for trouble. In fact, I think this might be the entrance. We might. Yep, we need to go back. Took another wrong turn. Yo, ant. So, that ant's got some moves. Let's go. So when we came in, we went left. Nothing there, so let's go to the right this time. I believe the legs are over here. So the, yeah, the legs are this way somewhere. Oh, I believe they're up there. No, I think that's where we've already been. Yeah, so we've got that one. We've got the one down by the burger chip
got the face mask, got the pads. The shin guards that we need. Ah, uh, so finally, after doing a bit of running around, we found the shin guards. Excellent. So, we are good to get out of here now. I'm pretty sure that we've got all the milk molars, because I'm pretty sure there's only the one down here. Again, if I have missed one, drop it in the comments for me. We can always head back to collect it. We've got all of the Rotten Bee armor. And we've also got the Grave Robber quest completed by collecting the Burgle Chip. So let's get ourselves back to the surface. Lovely, and the sun's still up as well. So whilst we're over here, we're going to head over to the Fallen Oak Branch. Just going to drink some water on the way. Hydration is the key to performance. Let's see what's sneaking around here. <sighs> Ooh, that's a spider. Peeping time. We're staying well away from you. Okay, so here is the fallen tree branch. Hopefully get ourselves a load of sap off the tree. I'm just gonna self up on to the branch. So just run up this little bit here. And have a fair few mites of here to take on. Keep our wits about us, keep our heads on a swivel. As I said, these mice can easily overwhelm you. We're not careful. Keep on moving along the branch. Picking up the sap as we go. Could never have too little sap. If I'm not mistaken, we are heading up to that branch. I hope so anyway. If not, we've got our dandelion tuft. Is it this one? Yeah, there's the blueprint. Oh no! Ah! Oh! We didn't deploy it fast enough. 
Oh, that was nearly a disaster. Alright, back up we go. We do need to be careful of Mr. Wolfie. He likes to hang out around here. Let's get our spear back out. Because there's plenty of mites here still. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, I can hear them, so there is one somewhere. The parkour in this game can be so frustrating sometimes. Oh, we've got our dandelion tuft, so hopefully if we remember to deploy it this time. Alright, let's not rush this time. We'll take our time, we're not going to panic. Okay, so we're just going to walk this bit. Go! Quest number two completed. So, can we see... Yeah, there's the plank, so we're heading over that way for the next one. I do want to see if we can actually get that wolf spider that sleeps over there at the way. Because there's another milk molar hidden under the decking. It's getting dark so that there's, the wolfies tend to like to come out at night. So we'll quickly run up the plank and complete the last of Burgle. Hello. It's a spider web. So we'll complete the last of Burgle's quest that we currently have, which will allow us to get ourselves a new full quota of quests. There we go. So that's all the bird quests done. The Ant Hill completed. The Rotten Bee are completed. And we've also got the Milk Molar from the Ant Hill as well. So let's see if Mr. Wolfie has made a move yet or not. Dash in and dash out. There he is. Don't get too close to spook him. Yeah, so there's the milk molar. What time is it? Ten to seven. So I'll head back over towards the hedge. Yeah, I think as it's getting so dark, what we're actually going to do is we are going to head back to that wolf spider. He's moved yet or not? I highly doubt it, as it's still not quite dark enough. Nope. He's still there. So what I'm going to do, boys and girls, I'm just going to camp out here for a moment. And then as soon as he's on the move, we'll cut back and dash in and dash out. Well, as you can see, boys and girls, after waiting all morning, he just hadn't gone anywhere. So, unfortunately, mm, we're going to have to leave this one food. be for the time can't being because we are just unfortunately nowhere near prepared enough to take this one on. That tastes really good. So we shall crack on to get the two that we saw in the hedge. So what I want to do is I want to try and clear all of the lava out from around here just so that we can kind of take our time with coming here to do what we've got to do. We don't want all of them. One at a time is fine. Oh, we're in no position to take all of them on. No. As I said, I only want to do one at a time. Stop following me. thing for certain with all these guys here. The floor is lava. Finish you. Oh, I definitely saw two more there. So we're slowly cooking. What was that? Oh, ladybird. There's another one. Don't run away. By well, the looks of it, there is only this one in the vicinity, anyway. Excellent. So I think we're looking good. Oh, we got another one. How did we miss you? And we've lost our weeble shield. That's not good. 
Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, hello. We have some more items. Oh, so we've got a recon journal. We'll need to pause that to read that. And again. And again. We got ourselves a compliance badge. And some suspicious snapshots. Okay. Interesting. So we need to get up there, as you can see. So. What I do want to try and do. Is I don't actually know of a way to parkour up there. So it's a case of building. Build those. Don't really get anywhere near it, do we think? I only have one weed stem, so let's go and find ourselves a weed stem. So let's get this one built. This one built. This one built. This one built. Yeah. Excellent. Lovely. That's another one. How much grass have we got for? So let's head on up to the juice box. Oh, where's he spoiling? There it is. That's one gone. Super job. We'll get this out of here. Lovely job. Right, so we need to get up on you. Yep, we're going to need... Yeah, I think they're going to be the way to go. Oh, hello. Flipping it, calm down. Four should be enough. Let's go and get these clovers. So that's the second one built. That's we need eleven, really. There we go. So we shall head on and back up. Grab. Oh, we don't need any more. Here we go. Super job. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that is three milk molars we now have in this episode. Oh, hello. What's this? Rotten lava blade. Nice. Let's go and grab some mushrooms before we die. Oh, that wolf spider's moved. Okay then, so let us head back home. In fact, first things first. We should get some research on the way. Oh, we have another tape. that burgle. Okay then, home we go. Excellent. 
of there and the sting bug is down. And we are back home. What a day that has been. So what I think we'll quickly do is we're going to quickly run along to Burgle and go and sort our quest out. And here we are back with Mr. Burgle. In fact what we can do is we can drop the chip off to him. Where are you, son? Come here. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? Ah, more chips. Thank you. Ooh, a thousand more signs. Nice. Remember. Mm, much better. Check the oh, ASL Terminal Science Shop for the recipe. new recipes. Oh, yes, that dream we have. I'm afraid Dr. Tully did not program me for dream analysis. But I will do my best. Was it perhaps about electric beef? I have always wanted to have that dream. Why don't you describe your dream for me? Aha! That confirms it. There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised. One in the yard and one at Ominent. He had a hunch okay. that they continued his work on the spacer after he stopped working for them. It all computes. I do not believe these are just dreams. These are surely your memories. But Ooh. perhaps they only return to you as dreams. So Ominent shrunk you, and now you are here. I am pretty sure you are not an Ominent secret agent. Yeah, I we're definitely not that big. That was a test. <laughs> <J -K>. <laughs> so if you are not an Ominent agent, why would they be shrinking children? Surely I have no idea. Yet another puzzle for us to solve. On the plus side, your memories must be slowly returning. If you have another dream, Please come again. We certainly will. Thank you for I your help. You today? Please come again soon. I Thank you, Virgo. You're never lonely with us nearby, mate. Let's have a look at these new recipes. Fiber bandage. Oh, that could be good. Less ingredients. Oh, okay. Nice Canteen upgrade. That's the one that we want. We're going to get you. Ow. Let's take the fiber bandage one as well. Three free quest. Explore a Great Oak Beacon. Complete the trial mark at Great Oak Beacon. Yeah, we'll take you. Weak Killer Peaks. That's the top of the Weak Killer. Yeah, we'll take you. Fireflies. Oh, that's going to test us. Right, we'll take you as well. And what have we got? Milk Molar Wise. So we can increase our health again. Or we can work on the. More stamina, half strain, or healing, or we can increase our mutations. I think for now we're going to take the health again. Okay, and back home we go, and we are home again. Right then, so I think. Let's have ourselves a little snooze till the morning. <laughs> so, again, as you can see, we've had a little quick rearrange. We've also built ourselves a water container just so that we can put the dew into here and keep the dew collector producing more dew for us so we shall collect up drop some off into here and then we'll probably drink these too uh, we haven't got any food to eat so we'll have to quickly kill some aphids in a moment get the last of our silk rope done the result of the hedge lab. So I'll sort out all the stuff uh, in our backpacks as soon as I've left you all. So we've moved everything down here. So we've got our storages here, we've got the garden patches down here. Just need to get some more grass to complete these up. So hopefully I'll have all that done by the time I'm back with you again. Uh, what we can do actually is we're just going to have a quick look at what this compliance badge is. So what does this do? Bad from an ominous scientist granting access to their specific department of work. 
parry, heal, damage, resist. So we get... So we reduce our resistance to damage. I'm guessing that means we take more damage. But if we perfect block, we gain health. Okay, and that goes in our accessory slot where the dandelion is. Okay. Hmm, I'll keep an eye out for the, uh, those workers then, I think. Interesting. Oh, we need to kill Weevil as well so that we can pair the Weevil shield. So, Alright then, boys and girls, again, in the daytime, what are the chances? So, Spiderlings, thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Grounded. It's been a little bit of a nice, slow, steady pace one, you know, did a bit more exploring, picked up those milk molars, found that compliance badge, didn't expect to find that. Rummaged our way through the anthill, got lost several times, but still we got ourselves out, got a nice horde full of items, brought the chip back to Burgle, and we are away again. So I think what we'll look at doing in the next episode, is I think it's time for us to delve into the pond a little bit. So we're going to be doing a fair bit of swimming next episode, hopefully. There is a couple more milk molar locations I'm aware of. Um, they are actually around the pond as well, so we'll have a look at those. One, I think, will actually involve taking on Orb Weaver, so that should hopefully be exciting. So, if you've enjoyed today's episode and you're loving everything else about the channel, you've got one thing to do, stick it to that subscribe button. If you've liked this episode, enjoyed yourself, make sure you stick it to that like button too. And if I've missed anything or there's any locations of anything like milk molars or other items I've maybe overlooked or gone past that I've missed please drop it down in the comments for me so I can have a check back so I read all through them and reply back to as many as I can it just helps me out and it makes you feel like you're part of the series as well so without further ado spiderlings as always remember to have yourself a wonderful day catch you in the next one <laughs>